and welcome back to Loves and Dishes. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how easy it is to make canned cannellini beans taste much better. I don't know if you, about you, but if you've been to the grocery store lately, everything is really expensive. Canned foods are still relatively inexpensive. They're about a dollar a can. If you get the off, <laughs> if you get the store brand can, it's pretty cheap. If you get the name brand, it's like $1.50 a can, which is too expensive for a can of beans, if you ask me. So I'm gonna show you how to make these cannellini beans actually taste good. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate it. It allows us to continue to make videos like these so that we can help you learn how to cook. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna cook one to two slices of bacon. You could cook more bacon if you wanted to. They're, you're, beans just might be a little bit greasier if, if you don't pour off the grease. So if you're going to cook more bacon and then put beans in, I would pour off some of the grease before you add the beans, but that's it. Um, so you just want to cook this up until it gets to where you want it done this wise. I accidentally had my pan up too hot, so mine got kind of crispy, but that's okay. I added my can of cannellini beans and I've added a half a cup of water. You could also add chicken stock if you wanted more flavor. That would probably be really good. Or vegetable stock would work fine too. I'm sure beef stock would work as well. Um, any kind of stock would be good. Uh, then we're going to add half a teaspoon of sugar. And you're going to say to yourself, why would I add sugar to beans? Just trust me. Uh, they make everything better. A little bit of vinegar and uh, some garlic and onion powder. And honestly, like with vegetables in a can like this, if you add just a touch of sugar, it really makes them taste way better. And it's not enough sugar to like do much. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to affect you health wise. It's not like, it's not like half a teaspoon of sugar is like this huge amount. It'll be fine and they'll taste better. So once you get everything in there, you just want to let them simmer for five to 10 minutes until some of that water has reduced. You don't have to really at this point, they're done. Um, but that's it. If you want to see more recipes, be sure to check out Loaves and Dishes and thanks for watching.